Are you flying with Philippine Airlines to the Philippines and you want to know just in case you have a lot of things that you need to carry and you need to pay an extra baggage allowance, how much does it cost? Watch this video and find out the extra baggage charges that Philippine Airlines actually ask from passengers just in case your free baggage allowance or your what you're carrying exceeds your free baggage allowance. Watch this video and find out. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Jamie Aris and this is Award Talk TV where I share to you travel updates, protocols, and other travel-related information that will keep you uh, informed as well as uh, keep you in the loop what's happening in the Philippines through the current events happening in and out of our country plus, of course, other inspiring and informative videos now with that everyone i simply want to say welcome to all our subscribers and of course to our new viewers i'm inviting you to subscribe to my channel so that you'll get updated daily with these different types of videos that i just mentioned to you now to start with if you're traveling with a philippine airlines and you want to know how much do i need to pay jamie in case i exceed my free baggage allowance so let me share that to you so that you'll be prepared and you know you can keep it also within your budget and at the same time you can plan will i really need these things that i need to carry or i can leave it you know at home so you can weigh between you'll be bringing it and you'll be paying an extra baggage charge or will this is it worth it or will you just simply leave it uh, in your home and maybe just buy something simpler back in that uh, destination that you are flying to. So let us see. So for the Philippine Airlines uh, excess baggage fee, so we got this from their website. That's www.philippineairlines.com. Any baggage in excess of the allowed free baggage allowance shall be assessed and then will be charged the excess baggage charge or EBC. Let's take a look at the domestic flight. Now, if you'll be flying locally within the Philippines, so Philippine Airlines and PAL Express operated flights within the Philippines. So from and to Manila, the cost will be 224 pesos per kilo. That inclusive already. So again, for any uh, type of classes, so from and to Manila, the cost of uh, the excess baggage allowance will be 224 pesos per kilo, that inclusive. Now, how about international flights? For international flights, it's not as simple as the domestic flights. Now, let us just take a look one by one. From If you'll be traveling from Manila, if you'll be flying to Bali, Bangkok, Beijing, Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh, Hong Kong, Jakarta, Kuala Lumpur, Macau, Phnom Penh, Shanghai, Singapore, Taipei, uh, Cebu or Kalibo to Chengdu, then it will cost you $10 per kilo. While if you'll be traveling to Busan and Seoul, if there will be any excess baggage, it will be 12 US dollars per kilo. While from Guangzhou, Jinjiang, Kota, Kinabalu, Manado, and Xiamen, it's 8 pesos per kilo. If you'll be flying and have an excess baggage for Australia, like Oakland, Brisbane, Melbourne, Perth, and Sydney, the cost will be 24 US dollars per kilo. While for Port Moresby, the excess baggage is 16 US dollars per kilo. If you'll be flying to London and you have an excess baggage allowance, it will be 50 US dollars per kilo. And then how about to the Middle East? For the mom, Doha, Dubai, and Riyadh, it will be 130 US dollars per piece. So again, they do have a different concept. So uh, for the mom, Doha, Dubai, and Riyadh, so we are talking about one luggage. So again, depends. If it's economy, then whatever is the maximum uh, kilograms allowed for that piece, then that is what you will follow. How about Japan? For Japan, it will be 120 US dollars per piece again. For San Francisco, Los Angeles, Honolulu, so that will be 175 US dollars per piece. And for JFK, 
or in New York, that will be 200 US dollars per piece. And for Guam, it will be 150 pesos per piece. So those are for those uh, flights. So from Manila, how about flying to Manila? So if you'll be flying to Manila, if you'll be flying from Bali, if it's from Bali, it will be 140,000 Indonesian currency uh, per kilo. For Bangkok, it will be 331 Thai baht per kilo. For Beijing, it will be 70 CNY per kilo. For Busan, it will be 13,200 uh, Korean won per kilo. For Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh, it will be uh, $10 US dollars per kilo. For Hong Kong, it will be 80 Hong Kong dollars per kilo. If you'll be uh, flying from Jakarta to the Philippines, it will be 140,000. Again, Indonesian uh, currency per kilo. And then for Jinjiang, it will be 60 CNY per kilo. If you'll be flying from Kota Kinabalu, it will be 42 MYR per kilo. And same thing with for, uh, for Kuala Lumpur, it will be $40 uh, Malaysian uh, currency per kilo. If you'll be traveling from Macau and you have excess baggage, so it will be 90 MOP per kilo. And then if you'll be flying from Manado, it will be 112,600 per kilo IDR. And then if you'll be flying from Seoul, it will be 13,200 Korean won per kilo. If you'll be flying from Shanghai, it will be 70 CNY per kilo. If you'll be flying from Singapore, it will be 14 Singapore dollars per kilo. And if you're from Taipei, it will be 302 Taiwanese currency per kilo. If you'll be flying from Shaman, it will be CNY 60 uh, per kilo. And it will be, if you will be flying from Cebu or Calibo to Chengdu, it will be 70 CNY per kilo. If you'll be flying from Oakland and you have excess uh, baggage, it will cost you 33 okay, NC dollars per kilo. And then from Brisbane, Melbourne or Perth, it will be 31 Australian dollars per kilo. It will be uh, flying from Port Moresby, it will be 53 per kilo. And then for Sydney, it will be Austral 31 Australian dollars per kilo. If you'll be flying from London, it will be 50 GBP per kilo. Just imagine that. And from the Mom and Riyadh, it will be 480 uh, Saudi rials per piece. For Qatar, it will be 480 per piece, Qatari Rial. And then for Dubai, it will be 480 dirham per piece. For Japan, it will be 120, uh, it will be 12,000 Japan yen per piece. For San Francisco, Los Angeles, Honolulu, it will be 175 per piece. And last but not the least, it will be 150 US dollars per piece if you'll be traveling from Guam and you have an excess baggage allowance now if you would want to know more and if we were not able to mention the country that you'll be flying from you may visit the philippine airlines website for the details regarding the excess baggage charges for other destinations just go to the travel information tab and then choose baggage allowance if you find this video helpful and informative please click like and i'm inviting you to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet and to all our subscribers thank you for watching with that everyone i'll see you in my next video this is jamie iris talk tv have a pleasant flight everyone and god bless you